Hey there, this is my project. I'm going to try and put this set of E-Flight electric retrack, my Habu jet. Kind of new to this. I enjoy looking at the videos of other people putting stuff in, so I thought I would try and uh, document this thing, and if it works out, it might help somebody. I've decided to start with the nose reel first. This seems like it's going to be the toughest. The idea that I'm going to try and do is to take a drop-in section that will go in there and build it out on this piece of plywood. I've already learned that the spacing is very critical between where the servo hole will go and this push rod. This needs to be straight. I found when I dropped the servo in from the top that it was too high for the steering push rod. So what a good friend recommended was bring it up from the bottom and I'm using another piece of plywood that I've cut out here and to show you I'm using 1 16th uh, plywood here. So I'm going to try and glue this together, give myself a little more elevation from the bottom. So this now is the servo coming up from the bottom. You see there's two pieces of plywood there epoxied together and the servo's coming up from the bottom and ideally if everything works this will go here I've done quite a bit since the last video um, what I noticed after a couple modifications was I've got four levels of plywood underneath that servo to get that arm level and straight across let me try and reach for this and show you kind of what I'm looking at here Now, you'll see I got a little stress here and pitch on that servo arm. It's nylon. Um, I still have full range of motion to steer. So I'm going to work on this. This is, for right now, this is somewhat, ex I'll take that as somewhat acceptable just based on that's a user serviceable item that I can get at, at the bottom of the plane. But so far, this looks pretty tough, and uh, I'll take it from here. All right, here's where I am. This is the fully assembled retrack assembly with um, the servo to steer. Notice that push arm's level. Found that was very important. Recess that down so it's coming down from the top. The idea here is that is that this will drop in. To here and then it'll fall back <clears throat> and looking at this I had to do some work I plan on using this piece so I plan on if the everything works right I plan on putting this back in and you know, staggering this it does fit in there so I could reuse this trim forward put the plate back on there leaving this open looking in here you'll see that I've got some epoxy setting on two braces and the idea here is that I take this double piece of plywood that will go deep inside there I'll use the screw depth when you look there I'll be able to see if this will focus here okay so the idea is that those screws will go down into that board when it's recessed, pre-drill it to match, and that will sort of make it user serviceable from the top to make that hold in there. As you can see, I had to do some pretty good uh, diving into here to carve out for that servo. Okay, here's an update for you. So since I did this first, <coughs> you'll notice that my nose wheel is sticking up more and I didn't go deep enough. And that's primarily for the reason that this servo here is facing down. Well, a good friend of mine told me I could have laid that servo on its side because the problem was that that's the top of the servo and I don't have a lot of room to go down there. But had I laid it on its side, I could have gone deeper and that nose wheel would be deeper in there. I'm not going to worry about that now. What I'm working on now is I took the wing off and, I'm, and I've now marked this wheel there's a little black mark 
there based on the stock of where that wants to be. Now notice the mark is taller than the wheel so I have lots of room to trim it to fix my elevation especially if I want to go with two smaller wheels on the front but uh, we'll see how it goes but I, de I definitely think it'll be easier. I took the wing off to work on it obviously uh, um, where I can flip it around and stuff like that so we'll see what happens. Okay now we're trying to uh, look at the wing here. Um, kind of the way I went for it here is to hollow this out with the tool. Um, I'm going to slide this piece here, apply under there, try and secure it, countersink the wheels. I'm not going that deep into here. Um, I'm going to follow the wires here, kind of chased along a spar up here, up here, going up back into the wing here. Okay, so I've got them in. The epoxy is setting. You can see kind of what I did there. I didn't really put the wheels on because I figured with the nose wheel, I want to trim that out, um, making sure basically that I can still cut before I cut these holes there, or excuse me, before I cut this hole, that I will make sure that it's level. But right now, this is kind of where we're at. You can see how I did the wires that go up and through. And I think as this sets, I just pray the epoxy didn't hold the strut down. I'm sure I'm fine. Okay, here's where we left off. Um, <clears throat> the epoxy uh, did not keep the gear down, thankfully. I've got um, it's recessed pretty much. It sticks up a little bit there. Again, the idea is I'm toying with this nose wheel that I kind of messed up on. Going with a smaller nose wheel, so I expect this not to be straight. So I'm going to put the wheels on and trim and cut the holes once I make sure that the plane is straight. But uh, we'll see what happens next. Okay, this is the final installment in part one of my retract project in the Habu. Um, as you can see, things seem to be working nicely. Uh, a really neat advantage of these uh, E-Flight retracts is that as you're installing them, if they bind up as you're kind of drilling out these holes with your hobby tool or Dremel, that, um, they won't strip out. You can just kind of keep opening up that hole until they fit and until you're satisfied that they're down low enough. But uh, thanks for watching. Uh, hopefully then part two of this will be at the field and we'll see this thing fly and we'll see if I turn my airplane into a remote controlled car with all this weight. Thanks for watching.